Hello and welcome to the second video in our series on the ARB Lynx system. Today we're going to have a look at a couple of our vehicles and a couple of different Lynx setups. The first vehicle we'll have a look at is one of our field service Nissan Patrol workshop utes. These vehicles have been kitted out for doing radio communications and mechanical service on mine sites and other remote locations throughout Western Australia. Well, here we have a Lynx that's installed into one of our vehicles. As you can see, there's a couple of different screens that we can utilize with Lynx. At the moment, we're displaying the speedometer module as well as the switchboard module. The switchboard module, we can turn individual items on and off manually, like our AR21s and AR40 light bar. Work lights, beacons, uh, and communications are set up through links on this switchboard. Likewise, we can have them activate automatically. So with our high beam, we have the uh, spotlights and light bar activating with our high beam. Likewise, if we were to uh, start the vehicle and put it in reverse, our work lights would automatically come on, or we can manually switch them on. Another aspect of this is the customization we can do to it. So with our work lights there, you can see that we have them switched to automate on with reverse, uh, but for some other funny reason, if we'd like to have them on with the ignition, high beam, low beam, things like that, we can customize that as well. We also have low voltage protection. So all of these auxiliary items are running off our auxiliary battery, which is battery number two. And we've configured it that if that item's on and we receive a low voltage threshold level, that the item will automatically turn off uh, thus preventing the battery from over discharge or from flattening the battery if they're an item hooked onto your start battery like our spotlights are. Rightio, just some of the other screens we have in there. We have the compressor module with pressure control where you can activate the compressor, set your target or desired pressure, put the tyre chuck onto the vehicle's tyre and away it'll go. It'll self-regulate and control the compressor to inflate that tyre, uh, quite very handy uh, when you're in tyre inflation. We also have front and rear air lockers on this vehicle. They can be controlled by links there, so you can just quickly punch a button when you need your locker and you're off and going. You can also interface manual locker switches with it. We've also got a 47 litre ARB Series 1 fridge in this vehicle. It's set up with the Lynx monitoring module we can see the temperature in the fridge, voltage, and the status if the fridge is running, idle, or in some sort of fault condition. A handy thing with the fridge module, if I go into the correct screen, is that we can actually have a temperature log for up to 24 hours previous on the fridge, which is particularly handy if you're operating the fridge as a freezer, and uh, you might be a bit worried that overnight your battery's gone a bit low uh, and you're not sure if your frozen goods have become partially unf unfrozen during that time, you can go through and have a look and double check. Also have a time module that's got stopwatch and a few other features in there, inclinometers, and this vehicle also has a full air suspension uh, set up in it. This vehicle does a lot of towing, so we have several different trailer modes that are set in here, depending what uh, vehicle, what trailer is on the vehicle, as naturally they provide different bore weights onto the vehicle, and we can customise and save what pressures we want in these airbags uh, to suit. Uh, you can see that we can also independently control them. We've got a 5 psi difference between the two uh, bags at the moment on this vehicle, because it's quite heavily loaded on the uh, driver's side. And then we've got our battery module as well, where we can up monitor up to three batteries using links. Um, this vehicle has three batteries, but two of them are paralleled as an auxiliary, so hence the only uh, monitoring two battery voltages. And then it brings us back to our switch mode. All of those are available on the other side of the screen, so you can pick and choose what you want to monitor at any one time using links. Here we have a typical commercial installation of links. In this vehicle, we have the links installed on an aluminium escutcheon panel to the rear of the cab. This allows for the mounting of links and all the other accessories directly to the vehicle without turning the cab into Swiss cheese. 
You can see on the right hand side there, we have the Lynx module installed, along with a relay panel that provides the higher current switching for a lot of the accessories that Lynx can turn off and on, as well as utilizing the Bainbridge Technologies fuse panel uh, at the lower right hand side of the screen there. As we look over this installation, we've got HF radio, commercial VHF and UHF radios, along with other combination VHF, UHF radios, as well as a cell fi in this vehicle. This vehicle is also fitted out with a high speed satellite based ADSL uh, hotspot, which can deliver uh, ADSL speeds to the workers when they're out requiring to download large files or the like. Now let's take a look at a more traditional Lynx installation on our Nissan Patrol wagon. Here we have a typical Lynx installation inside of our project vehicle, the last GU. The Lynx in this vehicle is set up to configure all the aftermarket accessories as well as a range of communications equipment that's used in this vehicle. You can see the Bainbridge Technologies fuse panel, as well as the typical relay panel that we install into these vehicles. There's a quick look at a couple of vehicle installations of the ARB Link system. As you can see, it's equally well suited to commercial applications as it is to recreational four-wheel drive applications. If you'd like any further information on ARB links, please call in and see the team at Goldfields Off-Road, where we can walk you through all the different options available and give you a demonstration of the link system.